Please select destination. that I'm a big fan of racing games. I'm not committed to them beyond all other genres, but, you know, the speed and the feeling of being on track, you know, I really, really enjoy it. Maybe it's because I spend a bit on time on track uh, myself, on bikes rather than in cars, but it's somewhere where I'm really comfortable being. Look, doing this at the same time as driving is really affecting things. Can we pick it up later? Thanks. driving at the same time isn't the easiest thing in the world to do. Now, where was I? Oh yes, I love being on track. I enjoy doing it for real on the bike, and I very much enjoy them in the virtual version too. Um, my gaming shelves are pretty much dominated by racing games, both two and four wheel. Um, there have been some bumps in the road, of course. We know that not every racing game is a good racing game, but generally it's here, and places like here, that I like to be, in a manner of speaking, of course. I'm also a bit of a tech head, and I'll buy gadgets at the drop of a decent review, especially if there's a remote chance that they'll actually help me be better at something. For a long, long time now, I've been using my trusty Microsoft Force Feedback wheel for the Xbox, which I bought way back when they were launched. And to be honest, it's, it's dying slowly by inches. There's an increasing amount of rattle in the mechanism, and I genuinely think that one day I'm actually going to pull it apart when I'm driving. So I started looking around for alternatives, and there's really only one which I'm going to go for, and that's the Fanatec CSR. Now, I'm not going to plug it needlessly here, it's about 200 quid now, I'm going to pay retail for it. Um, but it seems like the choice for me. It fits and also fits nicely on the GT Omega race seat that I got recently for review, which is always a bonus. The problem with good gear is that it does tend to cost a decent chunk of cash. This I don't have a problem with, but try explaining it to a non-gamer and you'll be met with that look of disbelief and incredulation, which basically says, you're a bloody fruit. So, as I've been stealing myself for the Fanatec purchase and the subsequent explanations of why, I've been thinking about all of the other game-related hardware I've purchased over the years. You know, the stuff which you think you need or need, but just have to have. Anyway, the pinnacle of this has really got to be the Steel Battalion controller that I bought. What beast. I remember getting it delivered and setting it up for the first time, locking all of those three sections together and basically just sitting back and looking at it. It was awesome, just awesome, and something which I genuinely don't believe has been matched since. Okay, the game was less than stellar. I think I stopped playing it after a couple of hours, but that controller was just something special. There's Connect, of course, now, and Move, Wii Motion, there's balance boards, there's skateboard controllers. Ugh. There's headsets, there's wireless headsets, there's chargers, cables, cables that charge, there's skins, there's stands, there's all that kind of stuff. Now, of course, there's guitars, there's drum kits, DJ controllers, all of which I've bought and all of which stand idle and a little sadly waiting to be picked up again, probably in vain. But they were the tools I needed for the job in hand, and that's my point really as I stand here with a virtual scent of burnt hydrocarbons and melted rubber in the air. Having the right tool for the job doesn't mean you'll be the best, but it does enhance the overall experience. And if it gives you a bit of an edge, well, I'm happy with that. A new wheel, my racing seat, fours of four, Life doesn't really get any better than that. It may not make me the best in the world, but I'm going to have a lot of fun trying. For now, though, I'm going to get back in this beautiful machine and do a few more miles. So I'll see you next time. 